why do you like creating is something I always ask myself. I have an urge to create that I cannot suppress. If I'm not making something, I'm not happy. And that's been, that's how I've always been that way. That's how I've always been. Even as a little kid, I would be cutting things out. I would be drawing, I would be painting. I would, I used to do embroidery, things with yarn, all different things, but I just have a creative urge. That's all, you know, I don't know any other way to put it. And that's when I'm happiest. The, I, there's like a creative flow, and when you get in that creative flow, you forget about yourself, you forget about everything else, and that's my happy place. That's the happiest I can be. I like color a lot, so. And I like color that moves, so, and I don't like rules. I find inspiration everywhere. So nature is a big source of inspiration. It's just amazing to me how flowers unfold and seeds drop out and a new plant comes up and um, birds and the way they fly and the colors in their feathers. So there's a lot of inspiration in nature. This also shows all the layering that I like to do and the movement of the paint and um, I love when the paint does bleeds and runs and um, things that are unpredictable. It, it um, gives you something, a surprise, there's always a surprise there. It gives you something to work with that you hadn't intended. So there are lots of transparent layers on this. I just think inspiration is just, it's everywhere. I, there's nowhere I can look that's not inspir inspiring the sky. This painting is alcohol ink, which is really great to use because it moves and the movement in the paint is what really attracts me to painting. That's why I like watercolor too. So I love like this, this part right here where you see how it's run and the colors all blend into each other. And you have some control of it, but not a whole lot, at least I don't. And you um, use a straw and you blow the paint with a straw. You can also just turn your paper, but I like um, using a straw and then my, my breath is part of the process. What advice would you give to a up and coming artist who's not trying to make money? Do what you love. Um, find your passion and get inspired by other artists too, like immerse yourself in the art world and just keep creating every day. Make something. Which is the nicest cusp way I know how to say it. Okay, so there you go.
way better. So now you can, you know, you can layer these, you can do whatever you want to do with them. I've thought a lot about calling myself an artist or when somebody else calls me an artist. I feel this sense of not having earned that title. I just think of myself as a maker. the creative process and I make I make things um, and I like making